What's up everyone? CD Inferior Games here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the brand new episode of Spin Tires. Now this game just received a new update. There's a couple new things. Uh, you can actually, uh, from Steam, you go into the Spin Tires Workshop and now you can actually download all the trucks that you wanted and put them into the collection so other people could view them. So if you have, if you have the Steam account, if you have Spin Tires, Check out my collection, CD and Fury collection, and it'll, a list will pop up and show all the vehicles that I have installed into the game. Now for today's video we're test driving, this is Suzuki Samurai. It's going to make a pretty sweet scout vehicle. I installed a trailer and I think it said scratch stuff you can install. So hopefully I could uh, unlock some garages. And one thing you may notice is this. As you see when I change gears, there's actually a uh, settings. There's low setting, which is probably your crawler gear, another crawler gear, and your uh, low high. Then it has your automatic, then it still has your uh, high range, and your, your reverse is like that too, which is kind of neat. Now I switched up, up the control. A little bit so I am actually driving with my left hand and I'm able to use my pinky to hit shift and I use shift to sh shift the gears in the game actually which is pretty neat and you so you hit shift and you use the mouse to select what gear that you want in now I figured that would be the easiest way for me um, I'm right-handed by the way so uh, let's see how this works out now this is not the fastest vehicle in spin tires, but uh, it's probably one of the most realistic vehicles. It is only a Samurai. Right now I got it in low gear, low range. Let's shift her up into auto. Grab some gears, maybe. stay in this RPM range. That's crawling speed. There we go. Alright, we might be out of the thick mud. We'll stick her back into automatic. Now that makes this so much better shift. Sure does. Stick your back up into auto. So we might have to shift her down. I am hauling a trailer too, so that's why it seems a little <laughs> sluggish, I guess. But realistically, you'll probably only be driving this slow anyways in real life. Especially hauling a load. Ah, excuse me.
left hand drive. It's got a snorkel on it too. Neat. This way I can move around the, uh, if you uh, right click, you can change your uh, camera angle, which is pretty neat. So with this control set up, it's a little bit better actually. I wish uh, high range had the, the shift markers too. That would be pretty neat too. But unfortunately, they're just in low and reverse. All right, grounds look a little bit more solid here, so we'll shift her up into auto. Actually pull up our map. Cloaking air is off to the right a little bit. Yeah. What the hell? We're off road vehicle anyway. Reset my camera. There's an interior view. Actually, let's back out of this. Reset my camera again. Oh, the trailer's hung up on something like that. There we go. I could just imagine this thing out of the trailer. We'll unlock the scratch first, then uh, we'll take the trailer off and just do some bombing around without it. Nice. So that cloaking area is removed. Auto. See if 
can squeeze too. One good thing about driving around a samurai, small on small on the back. Looks like the stuff in the trailer is floating. <laughs> All right, let's see if we actually. Awesome! So we were able to unlock the grudge. That's pretty sweet. All right, so let's uninstall this. Uh, let's uninstall this trailer. actually unlock garages with this. Alright, now I think there's a cloaking area not too far away. We'll get ourselves turned around. Yep, not too far away. What's our next objective? Which actually we'll hop over to the island here. Hopefully the water's not too deep. And we'll go off to this cloak here. Alright, let's see how deep this river is. Well, we know it's deep. Let's turn on our lights. What is our lights? Something else that I have to redo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll change that to L because that's what a smart person can do. Change Hong to H. Apply. Mm, I don't know about this. I wonder if there's a way that's easier to get across. Like, it looks like it, it's a little shallow there. That point. Hmm. Alright, we'll try it, but we might have to reverse out. Depends how deep the water is. No. We shall not cross here.
Dad, I wish there was a way to do cross. You can still kind of see bottom. Or just the light reflecting off the water. I think this has a snorkel attached. Oh. Head towards the island. Just we're right there. Dangerous water level. Come on, come on. Nice. First part, anyways. All right, let's pull up a map. Is there a shallow area? There might be one there. So yeah, let's head over to our right to the the other island. Keep our RPMs up, keep up the steady speed. Here goes nothing. This is awesome. I have trouble crossing this with the blazer. <laughs> nice. I can't believe we did that. I should say I did that. <laughs> One of the benefits of having a snorkel on. Okay, there's the objectives there. Let's check out the map. Head over this cloaking area here. Nice. Well, this one wasn't too hard to find. Alright. 
Well, I think I might call it there. We made it across the river. As you can see, the samurai here is pretty amazing. No, you can't barely see it. It's pretty great. It's probably one of the most realistic vehicles I ever drove in, in this game. It's so well detailed, too. Uh, I forget the modder's name is. But he did a fantastic job. <laughs> Love the snorkel on it. There's a snorkel. That's probably what helped us out a lot in the uh, crossing the river. Nice. This is just a nice little looking rig. And you can unlock garages with it too, with the garage trailer, which is pretty awesome. Well, that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have spin tires, and if you want to join in on a multiplayer game, let me know in the comments down below. All right. Well, that's it. Have a good one. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.